I spent over $500 on this arcade stick. Quick story time. Last month, my friend and fellow Tanuki member Anaya and I traveled to Las Vegas to attend Evo. He had a couple tournaments. I was there because I wanted to support him, but also just check out what Evo had to offer. There were a lot of vendors, uh, a lot of booths, and uh, my goal was to find something I could make for a video. Whether this was a good financial decision or not, probably not, we have we have ourselves some content. I mean, we have a fight stick. It, it may have been a little steep in the pricing, but I am an absolute chill when it comes to exclusive stuff, so I was totally down for this one. Little did I know this would impact me like for throughout the rest of the Evo like convention. That's another story. But here's the thing though, I'm not really a fighting game person. Uh, though I have gone a couple of sets using this one, playing Street Fighter 6 with also a fellow Tanuki member, uh, Philip. Uh, my main approach is to see whether or not uh, this is something that's viable when it comes to just playing other games aside from fighting games the quick answer is yes yes you can do that but what kind of games could really work with this Whoa, oh my god <laughs> this is a quick rundown on the arcade stick it offers eight buttons over here uh additional buttons over here you can see that this is actually a playstation branded um stick but it will essentially work with all playstation uh, platforms and uh, as well as pc which is exactly what i needed uh, this is usb corded so the uh, usb cable is actually in the corner over here if you lift this guy all the way up you can see there's a little like gap right here right here so you can still close it so now this whole thing can look flush let me just go ahead and plug this into the pc there's l3 and r3 which is pretty much just pressing in your left stick or right stick you'll notice that this only has one stick in particular so you probably already see the limitations right here so we'll see how this plays out now my goal is to pretty much play only games that are outside of the fighting game genre oddly enough you could probably like use a separate mouse in tandem with this. I forgot to mention, uh, this guy's cool. It's got like backlights and everything. Check it out. Ooh, actually, hold on. Oh, now you can see it. And then you just have one that's always on like this. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get started. The cool thing about Gravity Circuit is the fact that they actually have a tutorial like portion. So this is the perfect test to see if things work. So I'm doing, I'm having to do a lot of movement like with the left stick just to go back and forth here for wall jumping. And then, oh God. So LT or, you know, L2 is like right here at the far end. And here's the jump button. So, <laughs> it's fun. Uh oh, hook shot. Um, that's this button right here. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, you didn't see that. And then X is actually a uh, square. It's square for this one. So it's right, like right, right up here. And then my little super is RB, which should be right bumper or R1 right here. Shall we uh, do like a test run on this one? This game's so cool. The Mega Man X vibes are are there. Oh, a little bit of screen tear. I see that. Oh no. Oh, okay. Here's my enemy. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. Ugh. Oh, that didn't feel right for my pinky. So far, feedback here, it's pretty solid. I still would probably prefer a controller. Honestly, like the controller like does exceedingly well with this type of control layout where like for dashing, especially for speedrunners. That's just nice to have that like, like on a trigger or a shoulder button instead of like, eh, what I'm doing, I've, what I'm having to do right now. As far as the stick situation, there are actual pads that have actual button inputs laid, laid across. I forget what they're called though, but if you don't want to use a stick and you'd rather have like button inputs, you can actually opt for that, whether you customize that in or you just buy it separately. All right, let's finish it off. That was sick. All right, so now we're here in uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. It's another new one, but it's a 3D game. So let's uh, see how this plays out. Uh, knowing immediately that it looks like I'm using D-pad, which access other options instead of moving around. Uh, I think I have to change the mode. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. And honestly, games that just have like, an automatic camera turn, you may not have that much problems. Well, let me see if I can do this. I don't know how I do that, but okay. Yee. Oh, this game's sick. 
Yeah, typical 3D games will just have an automatic like camera following behind you and will turn whenever you turn. Uh, and there's other situations where um, I'll just simply just have full control over it and I will just never ever just trust automatic turning. And I'll just do it myself. But, but yeah, for something like Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, it might just work out just fine. And of course, I have to throw in a Trails game into this test. The game is running on an isometric field. It totally works with like a, like a stick. You can actually just turn the camera like this using, um, I guess this is R1 and L1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a game like this, it doesn't really matter whether you use like a controller or your keyboard or an arcade stick. You'll get the relatively the same experience and you won't really be rushed to learn like one or the other, especially with turn-based games in general. Good lord, what am I doing? Oh no, <laughs> what am I doing? We got Starfield, it's running on the cloud actually because I don't actually have this downloaded right now. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and just run it through the cloud. You probably have a specific question in mind. We'll get there when we get there. Okay, so there's, there's, already, <laughs> there's already a problem. <laughs> I need the right stick to aim. I can jump. Okay. Uh, what happens if I change the mode? Oh my god. Okay, so I do have means to turn things around. If I change modes on the stick, it allows me to have access to different um, D-pad slash sticks that I otherwise would not have access to. So now, while stationary, I'm able to move around. Fascinating. I'm not sure if I want to like experiment with that anymore. Oh, okay. Here's the here's the D-pad. All right, got you, got you, got you. Humoring myself aside, this is a no. <laughs> so thoughts, right? Obviously, uh, arcade sticks uh, cater to a specific age of gaming, especially like in the arcade era. These guys pretty much allow you to have that very similar experience, but in a home setting. Now, of course, you don't have to like spend five hundred, four hundred dollars on a stick like this one. This is specifically made. There are specific pads that are uh, replacing the stick with button inputs. That's one thing. Uh, there are smaller ones. Uh, there's cheaper ones. If I had to give you guys a recommendation, obviously this is perfect for like fighting games specifically. And if you're just a fighting game like fan and you want to try out a different type of control other than like, you know, your uh, typical controller or even keyboard, then yeah, by all means, try this out too. If you're not using it for fighting games for some reason, it also can work too when it comes to platform games or 2D platformers. If you apply a bit of button remapping on whichever game uh, suits you the best and for its specific playstyle, I say this is also pretty viable too. Otherwise, I would always like recommend like using the the base controller they got. Yeah, guys. So, rather quick video about uh, this uh, arcade stick. It's uh, it's fun to use, guys. That's gonna be it. This was just a little fun game that I wanted to do. <laughs> a little fun recording session slash like game within it of itself that I wanted to try out. I wanted to actually have my own like arcade stick. It was rather expensive. But it's but it glows but look it, it lights up. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Perfect timing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this one. Uh, if you would please subscribe to the Chinooki channel. We got more videos underway. Uh, I've been kind of like falling behind. It, it's work life balance is screwing me up. But uh, we're getting a rhythm of it. So stay tuned. We got some more stuff underway. But for now, we'll go ahead and call it here. Again, appreciate everyone for tuning in. I hope to see everybody in the next one.